In this video, we are creating whole authentication system based on Django and Django REST framework. So basically, we are creating REST APIs so that you can connect them with your uh, mobile application as well as uh, some web applications uh, like on React or Angular, whatever. Okay, so let's begin. For this, uh, I will be considering that you know a little about Django as well as a little little about a REST framework. We will be uh, covering everything in detail from the very beginning. So first thing first, first we have to create the custom user model because we want to make our uh, authentication system based on phone number as well as on uh, password, not on the email. So we have to define our own custom uh, user model in the Django. Okay, because uh, Django provide their model in username and password all right then in the second part what we will do is we will create uh, some apis for um, uh, registration and phone otp so we will connect uh, our otp with twofactor.com and uh, we will send otp on the mobile phone and in the third part we will cover um, forget password and uh, login logout etc using no nox authentication token yeah this is very interesting and very uncommon tutorial because i was not founding it anywhere so uh, it was quite difficult for me to get the uh, really hand dirty on it so let's make this very interesting thing and so first thing first i have created a new app here as you can see uh, this is auth app uh, in this we are having these four files so let's begin and create a new uh, app here uh, this is the project auth uh, auth so in this auth project i am creating a new app accounts okay so let's jump to auth and here i have to do python uh, three manage dot py and start app and the name of the page accounts all right now as you can see here it has been created now I have accounts app here and in this accounts app um, okay now this is quite visible in this account app uh, we will create our new model okay so uh, this will be custom user model uh, defined uh, so uh, based on huge uh, phone number instead of username okay so let's jump into it mm. yeah this this can be connected easily with react native as well so i will be covering uh, everything uh, that we will be needing for to connect it to react native and everything okay uh, so let's start by making our first uh, the custom user model okay we will uh, create uh, nox token so we will be needing some dependencies like nox and uh, uh, django rest framework and uh, you can use web backloader if you want to connect with react.js okay so because we are making it just the API, rest api instead of connection part uh, i will cover you how to make them okay so let's start so first of all we have to create the user model so in the uh, so let's begin it okay so class user and it uh, it will be from abstract uh, base user model because we want to uh, some modify some part of it so we will, we will inherit this part so abstract base user okay and in this uh, we have to define a phone field okay so phone field will be models dot care field and uh, we will use a validator here so validator equals and here we have to define the validator uh, that will be phone regex because i want the phone number to be integral and within the length like uh, up to 9 to 14 9 to 10 whatever like uh, we, i don't know in a 20 digit character field like abcd because i need only phone so it is not defined in django so we have to define our own validator so i will be doing it uh, wait a minute so phone regex uh, by using the regular expression and and uh, if something is um, wrong uh, so we will give message not here so max length here whatever you want uh, let's say we want 15 okay i will also change it in letter in uh, re uh, regex operation uh, expression okay so some first of all inherit something like abstract base user model and everything here, here we will be needing some models and a Q field regex validator that I have done here and then we will need this is our expression that we will be needing so as you can see here 
what it have is uh, it is regex valley data that we have um, imported here from the django.coral valley data and reg uh, regular regular expression beginning with some digit and uh, from 9 to 14 this is what it's saying and this then it terminates so in Django this cap uh, denotes that it is the beginning of the regular expression and this dollar denotes that it is ending of regular expression and this D denotes that it is of digits and lying between 9 to 14 number of places all right message uh, it's very clear then let's jump um, to the next some fields and because instead of typing um, I will explain everything here so now I want to be something identity here and here you go so what we are having here you can delete this thing like first login we don't need actually so if we have this type this type of thing you can add other thing like I have name there okay so name and uh, whatever they want so here I have a regular expression then I have phone field that is character field and name first login yeah active staff and admin these are all the boolean fields that we will need if it is active then um, yeah it is true otherwise false so by default staff and admin both are false because uh, we are making for you know regular uh, customers it's not for the employee journal and uh, the username field this is very important that we are making the username field our phone so this uh, phone number will act like a username of the Django okay and the required field we don't um, need any required field because phone number because this will be required by default and because we want uh, it as a username so I can say unique equal to true so I need it uh, unique okay so unique equals true that's it now we have um, user manager so we have to define some um, functions that we will be needing like create user and create a staff user and all so for them I can and create super user so these are the three things that we will be needing in our manager okay I know uh, I consider that you know little about user manager or otherwise you can watch my video on managers and functions inside a model so I have this create user function inside the manager and it will uh, if it not contain phone number then it will raise a error otherwise for the password same then it create it set a password that you are passing here then it says that uh, each staff each staff each admin each active it takes from here true or false uh, whatever you want to give you can give in the create user uh, if you're not giving them they are uh, false by default so uh, what what this thing is doing like if you say uh, user dot um, create user uh, dot or uh, dot create okay user dot uh, sorry create user dot objects dot create user okay objects dot create user so uh, this thing uh, will work basically okay so you have to give here the phone number like whatever you want and the password like what whatever you want here and each stuff if you want to true or else okay so this thing because here we have the objects so objects is related with the user manager and then it will go here so user dot user is the name of this model user dot objects dot create user so if you run this command or uh, like this so it will create uh, a new user okay by default right or if you want to give some uh, you know need act or want some fields to be taken so you can pass it like this also okay so this thing also works here in Django so this is just for explanation of how what what these two things are doing here okay so uh, let me comment it out for a while okay now in this create a staff user the very same thing works and just it, it is passing that each staff equal to true so each staff uh, takes uh, goes here and it becomes true so now we have user manager set up with three functions we need some uh, uh, returning of functions and some properties so here we have um, you know we, you have to define everything like I'm doing here otherwise Django will give you an error okay so a string uh, this returns self dot phone get full name it will return self dot phone so you can say that um, it will return self dot name if there is uh, but uh, you know I am passing name uh, a blank equal to true so I can say if uh, self dot name is there then only this thing work uh, otherwise it will return self dot phone because phone number will always be there okay no worry uh, in phone number so else it will return self dot um, phone okay all right 
so same here and here you can also do in get sort name and, and around okay so it is star property these are the properties okay so what uh, what this thing is doing get full name so if you have some instance okay now let's say you have some uh, phone number so if you uh, do a method get full name it will return the name of the uh, that user okay nothing big in it okay so yeah we are here full with the user manager so you know if you are creating a new and custom user model this would be your first migration otherwise it will create the problem as you can see here in this folder i have no migration at all so let's jump to setting.py i have to add this in installed app so in setting.py i can say accounts and yeah that's done now jump to admin.py we have to uh, manage uh, and uh, we have to change a little bit about admin also so you know this thing this whole code has been taken already uh, oh, everything from you know from uh, i don't need this thing uh, from django docs so you can go there and uh, enjoy everything of this code so you know you but it is doing it it is uh, taking user admin form from the base user admin and then uh, uh, you know i imported from the here from the user base user admin class and there are the fields that are whatever you want so i don't have a standard and a score so i have to remove them and and all everything are um, quite fine yeah then we unregistered the group if you know django you should be doing this thing okay and i don't need profiles here because i don't have profile at this time so let's remove it also and everything is super fine okay um, yeah all right uh, now it's time to make some forms also so create a new file uh, forms.py and in the forms.py you have to create our forms so first form will be login form that uh, contains phone and password as integral and character field then the verify form and we will jump here whenever we will be needing I, I will explain every bit of about these things but for now just just to get going uh, I have to save them okay now let's uh, start the server if there is no problem at all so manage.py run server so yeah there is some problem with future impart uh, must occur at the beginning of file so might be which is this file and it is accounts and model.py okay so this is the future import and i can just remove it because um, now i don't need it okay and now it is saying that in uh, okay so uh, in model.py and line number eight okay there's some problem with uh, model.py and accounts okay so this is uh, odp generator and i don't need it for now okay I can check where it is lying. Okay, now it's time to do a most important setting because everything is fine other than it. So in the settings.py, what you have to do is uh, we have to say that auth user model is accounts.user. Okay so in the settings these are our settings or the user model is accounts dot user that we defined in our accounts app in this uh, models dot py okay now a uh, time to yeah as you can see here that this uh, should be containing some you know a standard or refers to standard which is not a callable attribute so i have to go there in there's some standard field lying in admin dot py and i have to remove it also uh, yeah here it is so let's get rid of it and yeah now one problem is gone and now again it is saying some standard in um, where it is i can say standard okay so in list filtering i have standard here so yeah now it's time for the migration yeah so if i say uh, python 3 manage.py make migrations it will create the whole uh, user model that i have created here the, which is you, you can see here and in the migration uh, we have new file now which is generated by django as you can see here and it, it contains everything about id password first name login and all which we have the fields here okay this is not a field this is just a regulator that validator uh, regular expression validator okay now um, 
migrate the changes as you can see here the migrates and will occur in this file okay so if i say migrate and done so you can see here something occurs here because mm, this database is seen all right so we have um, now migrations applied now it's time to create user model uh, sorry create uh, admin create user super user so person manage your py create super user okay here you go now enter the phone number password whatever you want so password is to sort so give, let me give a big one for it yeah uh, now if i say run server so uh, as you can see here uh, our server is running correctly on this so we don't have anything other than the admin panel so let me give something here which is created by the, this phone and the password now you can see here that we have users only and it contains the thing which is uh, based on our uh, custom defined okay so if you just copy and paste this code you have ready ready made custom user model and you don't want to do anything other than this okay now in the next video we will be covering everything about how to create the api one by one and uh, uh, you know i, I haven't covered uh, much more things here because there's no need of um, getting um, and reinventing the whole wheel because you just want a, a user model that is running uh, fine and yeah you have you have a user model that is running uh, fine on your site and i defined how these things are working and these are just the def definitions or now if you jump to the forms.py you know you want these forms if you really want to uh, create something from like admin panel so that's why we need these forms so you just co can copy this uh, 101 lines and get uh, your thing then get your project going which is running on phone number instead of username so see you in the second part where we will be defining rest api one by one in very detail all right thank you so much